everybody. So before I get started on some more decorating in my Christmas insert, I wanted to show you my house and all decorated for Christmas. So I'm going to back up. This year we used our, last year we bought a tree, so um, we did put it in the other corner, but I didn't want to move furniture this year. So keep backing up. We put our artificial tree up and it is like an inch from the ceiling with my tree topper. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. I'll come in for a closer view of all that later. Um, first, I'm going to show you a couple other things I did. We sold our love seat, which we had hardly used to our daughter and her husband. And we bought on Facebook Marketplace that chair for $50 and it is in excellent, excellent shape. I got that cute pillow at Joann's uh, Doorbuster for 60% off. And this is my chair, which is very similar and um, I'm glad we found that one because then you go around and my husband's chair and there's the 80s <laughs> ceramic tree that his dad um, made for us, painted, and then my granddaughter Sadie comes and puts the lights on it, the little colored lights. And then this are the manger scene area here. This is the corner where we had the tree last year, but I really didn't want to move things. Um, it just makes it awkward. So down below, the one on the right is the ceramic nativity scene that uh, my husband's father did for did as a ceramic. And this one is one from my mom that she had. And then you come over here, and this is one that I painted ceramics when we lived in Mexico. And this is tiny one is the one my mom had under the Christmas tree when we were kids. So that's very, very old. I don't even know how old that is. At least 50 years old. And this one I just got this year from my mother-in-law. And she had it for many years for their family. And she was going to get rid of it. She didn't think anyone wanted it. And I did because I've got special major scenes already. And this was one uh, wall hanging that we got from a friend. That So that's all my <laughs> there's a tiny, tiny ornament wooden one down there too. All right, so let's let's swing back to this corner and up on our ledge, the pony wall, I hung ornaments and some Santas and other woodland things that I have, cardinals, different pine cones, things like that. And then down over here, I have a small tree. I have another tree coming that's a little more realistic looking than that one that's going to go in that corner uh, as a permanent fixture because I've decorated in my living room. Kind of a woodland nature is how is the decor. So if we come up close to this tree, this tree has ornaments wooden ones my daughter gave me um, from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and um, I think, yeah. And then um, from the Sl Slovakian or Czech, the Czech Museum. And then there's some that my mom needle pointed and that is not the right direction, it is. I put that upside down all those years ago. All right, and some wooden ones from Mexico, and just different different ornaments on that one. And then at Joanne's, I got these um, ceramic acorns, and they're, oh, they're really a good size. Um, and those were on sale, buy one, get two, three free on the ornaments. And those are like three, in, three by two inches, or at least two and a half inches diameter. And that's a little gnome we got on vacation in a Danish town in Iowa. There's my 
Christmas junk journal. That's just for writing memories in. So that's that. And then if you go this way, in the corner here by the TV, I just have a little Build-A-Bear Clarice um, from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and a little tree and a Santa hat. So then if we come back over to the tree, I can't show you everything, but I'll just kind of span up. I love to fill my tree with ornaments and usually every vacation we get just a vacation one if it's a special place we went to. Um, and then every year Doug and I each get an ornament for the year. So, and then we just have miscellaneous ones. So we have tons of ornaments on this tree, the way I like it. And then over here is a little camper we put lights in. And then on the ledge of the kitchen, I got some more Santas and I hung ornaments up there as well. And then let's go to the other side. Well, on the way there, here's the table runner. And I'll just kind of give you a little view of that. And a puzzle I'm gonna work on. And there's the stockings and Santa's. Let's see if we can get a better a better view. It's kind of hard because the table's in the way. So there they are. And this is a needlepoint my mom did. And then in here in the kitchen on the other wall is a felt and sequins that I did, a wreath when we lived in Mexico. That was a big thing to do there. And then the coffee bar, I put all my winter and holiday cups are out. And there's my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. And then this is the hutch. And I got, I painted that ceramic bear on the drum in Mexico. And just a few other little things. And down here by the drum is an old candle that my mom had. She never burned it. And so I got it when she passed away. So that's very special to me as well. So <clears throat> that's Christmas at our house. And I'm gonna go back here in the room and try and set this up and put it where it's going to work and not fall. Then if I move that, that should work. So let me see if I can get my chair where I want it and not bump anything. <laughs> All right, let me see what I need my glue and my adhesive runner. So I have a lot of Thanksgiving. I got some Christmas decorating stuff that's for uh, another time. What did I do? Oh, yeah, so Thanksgiving. So I have a card, a thank you card um, from friends of ours. <clears throat> and move some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, and this was my planning list that I showed you last time. And um, everything got done. I didn't, I, I finally put it away and did not check all the rest off, but it all got done. And all these things got put out, the wine, the drinks, the hot cider, the pies and the whipped cream. Cranberry sauce. I put everything, pickles, olives, rolls, the breads um, in different places, and the green beans, and the sweet potatoes, and the potatoes, and the dressing, and the turkey, and the gravy, mushrooms, and carrots. So it was full, and it all got done. So I'm thinking it might be kind of fun just to keep this and put it, put it in the book. <clears throat> kind of make like 
maybe inside that card would be a good place to keep it. My husband's like, you should keep that and use it next year. And I'm like, no, because I'm going to make a new one next year. <laughs> I did decide next year to eliminate two dishes. The sweet potato casserole, because I think two people took it. And the same with the dressing. I'm just, I made three boxes of dressing. It barely got touched. So I'm just going to make one box next year. So the card, and then these are some of the food things. So you have the butterball, turkey, and this was the, like the food table that tells you, but I don't need that. I'm just gonna use that. Um, that's a different one. The cranberries. Here's the oops, ooh, sweet potatoes. And I actually did um, not just uh, sweet potatoes. I ma mashed the sweet potatoes with an acorn squash that I baked. And then I put marshmallows on top, which we could have lived without. Um, and then I have, let's see, pumpkin pie. And I always use the recipe. There are two recipes on here. One is the new fashioned, and one is the famous, and that's the normal one, the famous, and that's the one that I use. But I want to cut off, I want this part, and then I'm going to just take some of that, the Libby's pumpkin pie. Oops, try and cut that straight. So we'll use those two things. And then the, I didn't keep packaging for everything, just a few things. And here was the other one, uh, Great Harvest Honey Turkey, and that was bread. So those are all the things. All right, <clears throat> so that's Thanksgiving. So, Yeah, I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do is put this here, my paper, and let's pull out my book. All right, and work on putting these things inside. So here's where we left off. So, and I got quite a ways till the middle. So now we're gonna do Thanksgiving. And I think I will make this the envelope. So yes, that will actually work perfect. So let's, let's use that. Okay. So let's see what I want to do is just come up here and over and over. All right, I think we're good. All right, let's, so we're just gonna, we're gonna put that there. All right. So let's do that and put, let me see if this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, it is so thick, you guys. All right. I suppose it makes more sense, Thanksgiving week plan to make it actually, probably, oh, I don't wanna, I gotta be careful. Sometimes I like wiggle the table too much and then that's when my phone Decides it's going to fall off. All right, so we just stick this in here, and then so we don't have to worry about pieces falling out, like this falling off. Then it's usually a good idea to do some washi just to give it that little bit of extra strength. And 
never hurts to have some pretty decor. Okay. There. And then let's do this one over here. And this one up to here. Okay. I think that will help a lot because otherwise it might come apart a little bit too easily. All right, so there we go. Maybe I should make it like a, let's go this way, like a little box thing. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay. And then uh, maybe right here in the middle too, just to give it that little bit of extra it probably could use. All right, there we go. I like that, that's pretty. I'm gonna use this, I think, for these pages. All right, so the next thing, um, I do want the card in here, and maybe what I'll do is put the food on here and across here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue the back of this card down. Okay. All right. And then we can glue the other stuff on and it'll work really well. So we're just gonna put the card right here to the edge. And then inside, um, I'm gonna put the pumpkin uh, recipe first. So, let me get my glue for that. Yeah, we had a really good Thanksgiving. Um, it was busy, I mean, because I went, um, <clears throat> I went shopping Wednesday morning. Yeah, it was Wednesday morning. And uh, just a little bit, I just went to Joanne's. But by the time I was done, I had so much trouble with my leg. It just was hurting so much. And um, I kind of made a mess of that. And then I got home and, and I was working part of the day. So I worked when there was work to do. And then I did food prep. And I did food prep from about two in the afternoon till eight at night, off and on. But I my leg was so sore, I just had to keep stopping and resting. And it was a pain in the neck, but oh well. Part of life. And um, Very, very busy, that's for sure. Just busy, busy. <laughs> I think Wednesday, Wednesday's <coughs> actually the busiest day for food prep for Thanksgiving. The actual day um, was really not bad. It was just fine. But boy, Wednesday was definitely a kicker um, <laughs> for as far as food prep went. So let's see what we wanna do. I think I wanna put the turkey one up here. Um, yeah. So then, I, Thanksgiving day, I got up at six and got the turkey. We got the turkey in the oven at seven. And then, um, let's see, where do we want the yams? Maybe here means I don't need this whole thing. And then, um, yeah, from then on it was like, I didn't have like a ton to do, so that was good, but, um, which was nice actually, because Rachel and my granddaughter and my best friend Marilyn came over all around 10, 10, 15. And we watched part of the parade, and we had some Yulakaga toast and coffee, and 
um, just had a really good time, a really good time, honestly. And, um, and it wasn't as busy, which was wonderful, but my legs were sore because I just felt like I was up and down a lot with things. And the only thing I had to, besides getting the food out, the only thing I had to do was, um, cook, or not cook, make the gravy. Um, I always make the gravy every year, and I like making it, and I know how to do it, and it turned out really good, so I was happy about that, and, and that was really all I had to do as far as food prep, so that wasn't so bad. I mean, there was getting the food out to the different food stations and everything, but that was all. And if you ever want to see pictures like of Thanksgiving and the Christmas decorations and pictures of this journal, um, I always post on um, Instagram. So you can always go to my Instagram account, which I believe is just Terry Cojatin. I'm not really sure, but it's in the comments below. I post the link. So I think that's a good way to do Thanksgiving. And I got it all on one page. So that's cool. <clears throat> and then it was Christmas decorating. Always, almost always, I decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. And so that's what we did. So I had Sadie stay overnight so that she could help us decorate. And she got up, or she stayed the night. So um, later on the morning, the day after, she helped us with the decorating of the Christmas tree. So that was nice. I got all kinds of things here. I'm just trying to see what I got as far as my decorations. Lots of these. <clears throat> A bunch of stars and things. I'm kinda trying to, it's not very organized, that's for sure. So I'm just kinda trying to see what I have. goodness what a disaster cute gnomes oh there's Santa's snowflakes and more snowflakes and I'm just trying to get through my stickers because I've got a lot of stickers and all these I'm trying to see if I have something I can do about decorating um I think some of these let's let's keep those out and let me see if I had some, I had some more. So let me just pull those out. Those seem to have the most variety. And uh, let's see what else I've got. Papers, so I don't need those papers yet. I have that, I really would like to use that sometime. Um, oh, and here's some more uh, Christmas. I have so much stuff, you guys. More cute Christmas decor. What is this? Ah, that's a calendar. Let me do something with that. And what else do I got? More stickers everywhere. <laughs> stickers and Santas and all kinds of fun stuff. And I don't know what I have if I don't go in here and actually take a look at it. I really need to sort sort through stuff because I don't even know what I got. So much stuff. See, here's a really cute tree too, and I, I might want to use that with another piece. But right now, I'm trying to find all my stickers and die cuts, which are multiple. Here's... Uh, vintage thing. 
kind of like this denotes decorating. Might do something with that. Decorating the house. Okay, so I like that. Let's just do it. I have a tree here. Oh, yeah. No, nope, that's a mushroom. I was thinking that was a tree. No. Buttons and, oh my gosh, I have got so much stuff, you guys. And tags and, oh my goodness. I have got to keep some kind of an assemblance of order, don't I? Oh, what else do I have? See, I've got, look at this cute tag that a friend made me. And I got all these cute little tags, more mushrooms, which is good because I am using some of that stuff. But I kind of need to see what I got. Okay, and this, and these trees. So I have tons and tons, and I'm just gonna put it all there so I can dig through it at will, right? <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> It's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. All right, but maybe I can just leave it this way to make life a little easier. That's what I hope. Okay, I kind of want to do, I'm going to come back to those, but I want to go back to the front of the book because just look at how cute that would be there. And this is a sticker, and I'm going to put this right here right here and this is 2021 so 21 and then we'll just write December it's not December yet even today is Sunday the 28th of November <laughs> all right then I want to put this one on I really like this one and of course I'll do writing later and I might not actually get this posted until tomorrow because of the writing and stuff that I, I want to do. But I love this tree. Let's just put the tree right there, this house. Let's just put that right there. And is there anything else? Maybe this. I just I need to decorate it up a little bit in the front because I knew the front like really needed some some spicing up you know and I just like this it's kind of a natural woodsy type of theme and I really would like to put something else there um, I'm not sure what though Oops, oh, my glue, I'm making a mess. Kinda wanna put that there. And this up here. So maybe that's what I'll do. So we'll put this one here. And I'll put this little sparkly one up here. And I think there. I like that. Okay, so back here. And it's decorating time here. So I was looking at this tree as a possibility. It's, it's a little 3D tree, see? But really pretty isn't it just kind of want to put it here so I think I'll do that so let me I just I like the color so I'm gonna just put it right here this I got from somebody as well in a, in a happy mail 
a long time ago. Okay, so then I think I've got all these stars everywhere, but I do want to do something about the tree and deck the halls. I mean, obviously, that's what we're doing. Um, the tree. And I think that's good. So I do want to do that, um, but I'm just going to put the tree here and deck the halls up here. And then I've got some <clears throat> pieces of stuff. Oh, hang on a sec. Are you back to stay? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, okay. I'll finish this up later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Well, I think I have a little bit of time. I can go ahead and finish this up as I wasn't able to do it the other day. Um, and I want to kind of do a little decorating with this tree. Uh, like I said, it was decorating day, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. I had to turn the video off because my husband came home and I don't have a door on this room. So I couldn't keep recording. Just that's how it goes sometimes, right? So try and finish up today. Hopefully. <laughs> I won't get any calls or anything, and we can get this done. Come on. Oh my gosh, this star is being like totally, totally uncooperative there. <clears throat> I usually use tweezers for some of this smaller stuff. Probably would have been better if I had but I didn't, so here we are. <laughs> this one here. All right, there's one more tiny one here. And I just have all these star stickers, you know, and I just like, I wanna use them and get them used because otherwise I've just got this paper sitting around with stars on it that I don't use. Oh my goodness. So, we are still eating Thanksgiving leftovers for our suppers. I'm sure my husband is thoroughly sick of that by now, but he's got one more day, and then if there's anything left, we are getting rid of it, except the turkey, of course, you know, because I can make, I've got turkey the wings and drumsticks from the two turkeys frozen because um, I want to make soup with those. But, and I have some gravy left and I could uh, probably make like a stew or a creamy, ooh, a creamy turkey. Soup would be really good. But yeah, <laughs> we are about uh, turkey out here, I think. Oh, sometimes these stars do not want to come off for some reason. Just trying to get this done. Figure out what else I want to do. And I don't have a ton of time. I've got a gathering to go to tonight. And so, yeah. Plenty going on. Come on, star. Oh my goodness. Please just come off. And I finally, I'm usually super early with my um, Christmas cards, getting them out. But um, I like to do it like right after Thanksgiving. But I'm a little bit behind. Not too much. I ordered stamps, Christmas stamps, and they should come. In a couple days, I dressed all the cards last night, so now I just need to sign them. And I do write a little bit on some of them. So, 
So there's that too. I, I really wanted to use this because I, I think for deck the halls it's pretty, but it's super thick. But I just, I really like it. But it's kind of like, where do I want to put it? Uh, I cannot believe I did that again. It's a sticker. I did that last time. It, it totally, totally came off the sticker paper because I'm too quick. Surprise, surprise. All right, I'm gonna just put that up here. Maybe if I go like this and just kind of smash it in there. Okay. All right. And then I have some things I thought I'd just put in. Um, you know, you buy things for decorating. And so these are the tags um, from some of those things. Ugh. So I think I'll put those in here. Um, this is Joanne's Time and Place. Um, Hilde and Joe earrings. So that is also Joanne's. <laughs> Have to decorate myself too, right? And use earrings. That's kind of my thought there. And then I got at Target uh, peppermint candy canes. So. What I think I'm going to do is just do some tearing and we'll just put those right there. Oops. <laughs> and I think I'm going to use this glue thing again too. Sometimes it's just easier. So there. So those are things um, for decorating. Of course, this is not very excited about staying down or staying put. That's a shock. Oh my gosh, come on. You could do it. <laughs> yeah, I got it all. We got everything decorated. Uh, it only took me two days. Sometimes it takes longer. So I was actually glad that it only took two days. So let's see if we can get that to stay. And I have some washi here somebody gave me that I think if it isn't too old, it's pretty old. Would be cool to just put here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it and we'll just tear off that. And I'll just use it here as uh, extra tape. Okay, and I'm gonna go and write um, on all of these as well. Oh, come on. This really was a thick one to put on here. Hopefully it's not gonna mess up when I write. I don't think so. Here's another thing I would like to put on is a Christmas napkin. Christmas napkins are just so festive. I enjoy them, of course. Ugh, Terry. Actually, now that I did that, I'm just gonna put it on, cover the whole page, and then I don't have to write on this page either. So, let's just make this, ugh. A little better okay and we're just gonna let's just just set it down on here and yeah it's a little torn in places you know but it's festive and it didn't God, I forgot about the inside paper oh my gosh oh my gosh This is what happens when you're kind of in a hurry and you're not paying attention, like me. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. 
Ugh. It was a busy work day today. I was definitely hopping. That's for sure. There. Okay. Then the next thing to do, make sure I get glue for all these areas because I don't want them coming up, of course, um, is to cut, and there's another layer on here, I think, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm just going to cut this up, and then I have to write on these pages and take pictures of them for my posts, and then, <laughs> And then I'll post this. I was hoping to have this on the weekend for you, but here it is Tuesday, so I didn't exactly uh, make my planned time frame. All right, so obviously I did do this not quite right because there's a layer of paper there but it looks like the only one that's gonna come up was that edge. And then I can just put a sticker here. Um, just something pretty, and, and it can stay stick out, that's okay. Um, I don't care. I kinda like this. And I'm gonna not worry about it um, sticking out a little bit. I don't think it really matters. I was gonna try and get to Michael's and look for some pink and light green um, stickers for Christmas just to see if I could find something else because I checked um, Joann's and they did not have a lot nor what I was looking for so I need to go either to um, Hobby Lobby or to Michael's and look. Hobby Lobby might be the easiest and the best selection. They're the closest to me. Well, they're both very close to me, but so really it doesn't matter which one I go to because they're both very close, but we'll see. Um, all right, so there we go, a Santa just because. And then I got, I ordered some stickers for the next year, or no, I ordered a Christmas gift. And so maybe I'll put that there. And this was a thank you from the person who I got the gift from, and it was a gift for my daughter. So I'm gonna put this here and then I'll write what that was. And uh, I feel like we should put something, something on here. Hmm. I'm looking at my Christmas washi and trying to figure out the best. So that was just like uh, to show a gift that I got. It was a cute little pottery thing. Let's just do this. Okay. And then I'll just write that about a little bit about gift buying. And then I also like to do a couple of pages of stamps from Christmas cards. So we've gotten two cards so far and one of them had a Christmas stamp on it so I'm going to put that here and then as we get more cards I'm going to add them and do, 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 do. I feel like it would be nice to um, Maybe we'll do Making Spirits Bright and use that 
for this page. And then, let's see, I can just use a washi down the end of the paper right here. And then we'll put another one down here. And I'm going to just leave these two pages for stamps. And then maybe, let's see, put um, something down here. Well, let's just put, let's just put the sticker down there. And then we'll just fill that with stamps. So that was all I had to do. Um, like I said, I need to come back now and do all the writing, but I did want to finish up this little bit of uh, that I needed to finish for this video. And then I'll get the writing done and take pictures and, um, and then I can post it. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed it. All right. Bye.